Hello YouTubers, my name is Harrison Mkeza. If you're new here, please do the right thing. Um, please go like, subscribe, and watch the other videos so that you can see what type of channel this is. And obviously, if uh, you are a regular and this is like your regular dose of moments with Harrison or just hanging out with Harrison or even Harrison and friends, you're the real MVP. So let's get right into this video. So in this video, we are going to be talking about quite a number of things and of course a lot of them are inspired by the, the fact that we are self-distancing and some people are quarantined and some people are social distancing. So I've had a lot of time to think about a couple of issues and a couple of things that I want to talk about and there we've got YouTube content for you. We will be talking about, um, first of all, it is internalized phobias. Um, I'll kind of get into that later on, but it's it's just one of those things that I like to talk about. Um, also going to be talking about an incident that I witnessed, um, I think it was yesterday or something, when I went to buy bread. Obviously, I still go out to buy bread because I need bread and the word of God says that man cannot live on bread. I'm kidding. Um, yeah, so I'm going to talk about an incident that I saw. It, 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 just, it just really showed me um how we need to sanitize our attitudes especially around women in this time and then also i do also want to have a chat around the coronavirus and uh, this one was actually requested like i finally get to say and i honestly mean it like somebody literally said not someone but a couple of people said hey please do a video on the coronavirus so that's what i'm going to talk about Phobias, a coronavirus, and of course how we need to sanitize our attitudes around women. So like a whole lot of, most of the time when people speak about um, internalized phobias, people don't know what that is. So I'm obviously going to use one example and then I want you to apply this example to different situations. The whole point is that I want you to learn how to get over your phobias and also sometimes we don't even know that we have certain phobias um, I'm going to pick this one that I um, that is very close to my heart obviously because it was I think a month ago we had a guy called Lindo um, who was a vocalist and uh, I th he was he was a homosexual and he was brutally stabbed 21 times and um, Jeez, man. So, um, obviously, that is homophobia because it was a homophobic crime, it was a hate crime, and the gent that killed him obviously said that he killed him because he wanted to see um, if the public would still love him so much if he was dead or if the, if he altered the way that he looks because when or more, he would have and stuff like that. But what I want to talk about is the interna internalized homophobia. So I'm using homophobia as an example, internalized homophobia. And internalized homophobia is basically that thing where when you walk into a room or a setting, you just feel like, okay, I'm not good enough to be in this room. It's almost like your imposter syndrome, but it is a thing where you walk into a room and you're like, okay, cool. <clears throat> I'm not good enough to be in this room. And you begin to accept all the negative things that people say about you. If you are black, you walk into a room and um, there's like white people and there's other people and you immediately assume that position of saying, okay, cool, I'm a bit inferior. If you are a woman and to apply for a job, you obviously don't, you want to apply for the job, but you don't give it your best shot because you have the thing with, I'm a woman and I might not get the job. It is important that we address our internalized phobias because they determine who we interact with. An example of this is that um, I have a white friend who will say things like, um, you are the better black. Um, I don't like black people that dress like that because it means this. Essentially, we wanna masquerade our preferences um, 
we're not we we masquerade our phobias with preference and you say you prefer this and you don't prefer that whereas effectively what he's communicating is that he doesn't like black people and it doesn't matter what type of black person so that is his internalized racism manifesting what gets what gets really interesting for me is um everybody has phobias and the thing is sometimes we don't even realize that we have these phobias um a good exercise for you to do right now is for you to actually take a pen and paper and write down um your phobias so just investigate yourself what informs your preferences what are your biases um just so that we can interact with each other a little bit more after we have quarantined the whole point of this video is that we deal with ourselves while sisa sodwa so that when it comes a time where Cyril says we can go out and have fun when guests all get to buy bread um, with two of my friends um, and obviously these friends that I was walking with are female, right? So this other one um, was wearing e jogging clothes because we, we had just finished jogging and so we said, let's go buy some smoothies, you know. We are trying to be healthy here. Anyway, so as we're walking again to buy our smoothies, this guy um, cat calls to this to my friend um right of looking at her physical physical physicality physicalness and it's just like appeal so then my friend gets like upset and then she's like what are you saying and then this guy's like and she's like no come say that to my face and then this gent get I've been there and then my friend is like I'm giving the shit of it and then this guy's like but now we go in and then go in I'm gonna pin the wig and then my other friend now jumps in and then I'm coming in school to get so in with it on a issue that they show you what I want in with him go again Jane and then obviously it becomes like a huge thing and they almost fought luckily I was there to separate them because Jesus taught me how to separate the fighting kids you know bless the Lord um, but obviously that really really got me thinking with some of the attitudes that we have um, around talking about people's bodies um, even yesterday I was reading a tweet where somebody said to my friend my other friend yeah this, this, this one's my friend um, she is fat and unesi so is cool and said me last the piece um we always think that we can comment on people's bodies and we really really should stop this because it genuinely does make people feel uncomfortable this was not the only incident just last week as well i have another friend who is pregnant and um so she's pregnant and she lives in a commune right and then these gents that she lives with were drinking with their friends and then this gent goes on to say eh, can you please have i want to have sex with you because apparently sex with a pregnant woman is nice <laughs> and well once we interact again after cyril calls off yes after obey says i was guys stop objectifying and sexualizing people it's not only with women like i've also experienced it um even in the lgbtqia plus community um where people will sexualize people when they're drunk we really just have to stop it because people generally feel uncomfortable like sing i don't talk to but this thing of sexualizing people honestly sometimes we do it we're like yes this person would get it and then like we say it all the time we'll see, yes this person would get it but it does make people feel uncomfortable so let's stop especially to the gents like i see you again guys so tolana name bam kona matomba zani asentele ashaya na yo so stop it guys stop it so they've been saying that we must um, obviously sanitize our hands. Um, this is me like sanitizing, okay? And I think I'll just five feet sanitizer in this video because, well guys, it is a lot. Um, a friend of mine asked me if I could please do like uh, a video 
around the coronavirus and there's already like so much information around the coronavirus and um, I mean literally in the headlines in the news everything everything that's on TV right now is about the coronavirus even Cartoon Network has like an ad where they're speaking about the coronavirus so I think anybody that has a platform now is a good time more than any other time to use your platform to 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 actually uh, remind people what to do around the coronavirus um, because especially for us people that have communities on social media um, even here on YouTube shout out to all my 500 subscribers thank you guys um, we, 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 we are living in a community and we constantly have to remind each other of what to do so just in case like Ningas this is what I'm doing right I have the sanitizer with me and uh, I wash my hands every time when I leave the house, when I come back into the house, we literally wipe all the surfaces with Itetoli, the domestos, and we do that regularly. And if anybody comes into your house, so wash, make sure that they wash their hands. Like, literally, don't be afraid to say, Thank you guys so much for obviously watching this video, and I think more important, more than anything, um, outside our internalized phobias and sexualizing women and the coronavirus um, we really just have to do better as the human race all around like I really hope that after um, this coronavirus and the self distancing we can actually just learn how to be better human beings and it doesn't even it doesn't even cost a lot like you don't have to do a lot it's just the small things that you can do wherever you are and speaking about small things um, obviously now I have a hand sanitizer but um, if you can't afford a hand sanitizer somebody showed me um, I saw on whatsapp a, a, a homemade I think um, it's, it's an organic hand sanitizer how to prepare it so obviously if you can't get yourself one of these um, there are there are there are things that you can do so this one um, so these are the ratios of this organic hand sanitizer. First, you have two table, sorry, tea, two teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda. Um, you put in two teaspoons of Epsom salt. You put in five tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and you add all of this to five liters of water. And you can obviously use this to disinfect your surroundings, and you can use it to clean around your house. I'm just going to repeat that. So it's two teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda, two teaspoons of Epsom salt, and then it's five spoons of uh, apple cider vinegar and five liters of water. And you can just literally use that as your hand sanitizer. Otherwise, I will be hand sanitizing my hands, hand sanitizing my hands. I'll be sanitizing my hands until Jesus comes back. And I'm asked with some misalignment, guys, what would you say? This is a symbiote and it's here. Gimboni le jala le talks week. It's not cute, guys. Jesus needs us on 